I'm going to Barcelona again for my dress fitting. I love it. Wow. Is that a problem? It looks stupid. Not putting up with it at all. Hey guys, happy Monday. Today is so exciting because I'm finally getting my wardrobes fitted in my room. I was going to say fitted wardrobes, but technically they're not fitted wardrobes. They're Ikea packs, but I found these guys on Instagram, which you know how Instagram just listens to everything we're saying all the time. I was saying like, I want fitted wardrobes, but they're so expensive. And then I was just going to get Ikea packs and just like get like task rabbit to do it i think they're like linked with ikea somewhere anyway i've got an ad for this company who fit wardrobes who fit ikea to look fitted in so like if there's any gaps in the wall they have like ways of making it look built in basically and i'm so annoyed i forgot to show you guys what it looked like before because we just emptied the room today and they're already moving so quick so it already looks like halfway more than halfway complete i'm going to show you guys the progress anyway lots of doors in the hallway this is the bit that was really annoying because there's like a the chimney here but they've cut a panel to make it look built in there and then they've shown me that this side is already done so yeah that room is quite chaotic at the moment there was like three guys in there and they were like cutting they've got a cutting station in the center of the room anyway you guys get the gist it looks really cool so far so i'm really excited to just have everything put away so yeah so here is the final reveal obviously there's some filler and paint that needs to happen because of the previous wardrobe that was in here so that's the smallest one and then over here we've got a door missing because the company didn't arrive with everything they got a bit of a mix up they're coming again tomorrow to finish it off but here are the wardrobes i'm so happy with them i might paint the whole room including the wardrobes like i might do like a really soft neutralish pink with black handles or I don't know I might do like a sage green I really like that these days but yeah then that will make the wardrobes proper look built in because they'll be the same color as the rest of the walls and there's plenty of storage inside I've got double hanging here and then there's space at the top I kind of I'm not too sure if I made a mistake with getting it like proper built in at the top as well because that space could have been utilized for like something like a narrowish kind of basket but i do think there's plenty of space inside the wardrobes and this section will have mirrored doors but yeah that's my long hanging space for shalark mises and there's going to be lots of internals that they also need to come back and do so there needs to be like for all of the wardrobes i've got a pull out shoe tray to go right at the bottom so all my shoes will be inside the wardrobes and then this space is well it was for my coats but i don't think it's enough for my coats so i might just i know i'm going to downsize my wardrobe anyway so also i might get a coat closet fitted downstairs so that it's easy for omar and i and also when guests come but yeah i'm really happy this space is going to have lots of drawers and the team arrived with the normal ikea drawers but i really wanted a clear ones so i can see what's inside and i specifically ordered them beforehand but yeah they're going to come back and fit them all in and the drawers are going to come up quite high and then there's going to be like a jewellery tray and then a glass shelf on top and then this space can be for my trousers because it's not going to leave a lot of space with all the drawers but yeah that's enough of me rambling i'm going to go get ready for the day now i've got a little and of the stories gifting to go to oh also these doors are soft clothes which is so good ah. and then also they open wider than you'd think you'd think they'd like stop there but you can open them quite a bit so yeah i'm actually really really impressed with ikea's quality like and the design just looks great highly recommend hey guys i just came back from and other stories it was horrific traffic because there's tube strikes today anyway i'm gonna show you guys what i got and omar omar's gonna vlog first of all i went to a five guys at the end yeah. and i had fries and i thought you might like some I had McDonald's. Next, I got the jumper. You know the one from a few vlogs ago. I got it. Mmm, that's nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry guys, Omar's covering the mic, but I was basically saying I need an errand running bag because I feel a bit awkward with my Chanel going to Tesco and stuff. When you're in the Peter district. 
Yeah, oh my god, in the Peak District. I feel so stupid with it. Like, it looks so stupid. Anyway, um, I've got a new everyday errand running bag and I really like it. There was two quite similar ones. The other one was like hard structure, but this is really soft and squishy. And they had a brand new one in stock. So they went and they got me that and I absolutely love it. Like I've had my eye on this for so long and it just looks like such good quality. I'm kind of off designer stuff now. I just, I don't know. I just feel like you can get such good quality things without the logo and I'm not a huge fan of big branding anymore. So yeah, I really like this. I'll show you guys what it looks like on in a second. Actually, I'll show you now. All right, I feel like the longer than this. <coughs> you didn't put it on before you bought it? No, it's not really silly. No, but you're usually very thorough with your purchases and try them many times. Is that a problem? No, it's not. It sounds like it. I'm just stating a fact. I was listening to a podcast on the way about the Tinder swindler. Mm. And it's, there's like so much more to him. Because the Netflix documentary focuses on the girls and not so much about him. It's a bit confusing because you don't know which way is the right way. Oh no. I guess that's alright. It looks stupid. No, did you expect it to be longer? Yeah, you look really disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm not. Does it look silly? No, it doesn't. But I think the new crossbody style is higher. Right. Like the new, like, hips Speaking of the new hips of people, did you get the wide jeans? No, you're covering the mic. I didn't get the wide jeans because they were like rolling on the floor. Right, okay. You, I showed you and you said no. Yeah, but I thought you could get them from somewhere else. Mm, too much, too much traffic and stuff, I just wanted to kind of come home. Okay, so inside. So there's three sections, four sections. There's a back pocket, there's a front pocket, there's a zip pocket, and there's, no, there's only three. Anyway, really like that bag. Thanks to another stories for this lovely gifting. I'm not done yet. How much is that usually? 120 pound. Okay. What do you think? Um, See, when I think of it, I'm like, why is Chanel like five, six grand? That's a perfectly good quality bag. Some of your followers were saying that a few years ago. Yeah, I didn't listen, did I? I would never go and say it to anyone though. Mm. Next, I got these itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty dainty earrings. It was between these and another pair of chunky hoops. And I thought, let me just get the dainty ones today. Yeah? Yeah. I got a little like under the earlobe thing going on. And then last but definitely not least, I really need cash these days. And I never have good storage solutions. <laughs> well, you know like pound coins and just like mm. money. I feel like it's dirty putting right. it in your bag, just Amy. So I've got solution. I need to get a better wallet for cash as well. You just need to kind of use your wallet and not leave it at home. Do you know where it is? Because I can't find it. No, but you do this every two days. But yeah, so they had so many wallets to choose from, but I got the most sensible option because this is really like, I feel like coin suitable, not slim. Because when it's slim, it's like hard to get your hand in there and get things out. Anyway, I just think this is really practical. I'm going to get so much use out of this. It was £27. Right. What do you think? I like this side there. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so excited to be using this bag for the foreseeable for every day. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> I wasn't recording all of that time. Yeah, it was. You're such a bad liar. You could never be a Tinder swindler because you're such a bad liar. I need you to borrow some money for me though. Yeah, you're getting a loan, you're getting it in your name. I'm not being swindled. Oh, he can never bachara do his job anymore, can he? <laughs> do you know he's been doing conning, like fraud, since he was really young? Mm. And he's just got really good at it now. Like he just used to be quite bad at it and used to get caught. That is all. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday. Maria and I are on our way to an event. We haven't been to an event together in ages. Oh, have we ever? No, the last one was Digital Voices. Oh, right, right, right. yeah, we time. have been to an event together. <laughs> False alarm. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one because it's a fragrance event and I love fragrance so much. And I was just thinking that I haven't been to one in ages, so yeah. We'll show you guys some fragrances we'll like in a bit. Mm -hmm. See you there. Oh, also, we've got a taxi. Looked. It's very nice. Feels like a right treat <laughs> on a day that's very much needed. Yeah, I'm, I was so glad. This is raining so much. Anyway, we'll see you there. Also, guys, I've got my new bag out today and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really loving all the compartments. Guys, we have just arrived. This is such a cute little setup. Mara's getting a little hot chocolate, hot chocolate or coffee? I'm getting a latte. Oh, okay. 
so cute. This place is so lovely. Oh my god. Love. Oh, I'm trying to find the one Sunny told me to smell. It's probably like hidden away somewhere. Some more here. I love this. I love the way they've styled everything. I want to move in. <laughs> so guys, I have a very specific type of scent that I love and I've had a, a sniff of a lot but this is one I really like so far. It's called Edition de Vorin Veronique. Yeah, really like that. So guys, we are heading upstairs now, leaving this beautiful downstairs. But I hear upstairs is very beautiful as well. So. Wow. Oh, there's an idea. Wow. I'm willing to take a picture. This is crazy. Wow. Okay, this is the one I was told to try. So I'm very excited to give this a sniff. I can't believe how insane this house is. This is the master bedroom. Oh my god. So much inspo. One more? Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it's magic. Oh, that's hard. I mean, this one has Hi, it's Mari. I have to take it on this vlog camera. I'm gonna make a bouquet. And look at all this food in this beautiful house. Okay, cool. So we're gonna hold in our right hand, mm -hmm. left hand, <laughs> and then with our right hand, we're gonna put behind the stem. So we want like a crossover. So what we tend to do as well is work in different heights and different angles. So am I supposed to hold from here where it starts or? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so just behind like that, mm -hmm. and then you can just continue to work around. So it always kind of goes behind because it helps create a spiral. So if you cross over your stairs and it's not spiraled, it will tend to break. I said it's not amazing. Can I have one as well, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, guys, let me give you a quick tour of the room. It's obviously not complete. I need to do a bit of filler and paint there. But the interiors have, like... 98% have been fitted in. <laughs> so this is gonna be my coat section, but I think I'm gonna get another coat closet downstairs for mine and Omar's coats, but also for guests. And we can also keep some shoes there. But that's, I think, a little bit small. I might rejig some things around. And then over here, we have the mirrored ones. And this is supposed to be for Shilvarkami's, but again, I think I'm gonna have to re-jig. I think this might be better for tops, t-shirts, and shirts. And I'll put another rail so that it's double hanging. And then we've got some shoe pull-out trays at the bottom, which I really love. Most people go for the mesh baskets, but I think the shoe trays are such a good idea, because other than this, I don't have any shoe storage. Then on this side, we have double hanging space here, which I'm thinking is probably better suited for just long hanging for my shark mises. But yeah, we have that pull out tray at the bottom. I need to get the shoe inserts and the soft clothes, which I love. And then this section is probably my favorite. I am gonna get some lights put in as well. But anyway, I have short hanging for jeans. And then this is a little jewelry tray, which is perfect. And I've got a glass shelf so I can see inside. And then lots of glass drawers. So pajamas, loungewear, etc., etc. And yeah, I am actually just getting ready for my flight, which is very soon so i need to make a move but yeah i'm going to barcelona again for my dress fitting it's gonna be so much fun mario's coming with me so yeah let's go update we are in Gatwick. but um we took ages at security because we both have too many liquids that's what happens when you love skincare oh my god guys i had to throw away my pre-cleanse what's up there minerals if you're watching 
please feel free to send me some more. <laughs> oh my god. This smells incredible. We have arrived in Barcelona. Hopefully we're gonna go for dinner now and, uh, and then check into our hotel. I think it's gonna be fun. Hey guys. I don't know the last thing I vlogged but we went for dinner last night and it was incredible. Insert pictures of amazing sushi. Yeah, now we're having breakfast and then we're going to try on my wedding dress. This is so exciting and I don't know how much I even want to show my sister because I kind of want to keep it a surprise for the actual registry. Yeah, let's get food. designer's office and we're looking at the original sketches like her drawing these. Is very nice. yeah her drawings are so beautiful and then the final dresses i really like this one where is it gone that one is cute so cool i've seen this one on instagram and i fell in love when i saw it such a nice design wow where are we going production <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing now? I'm trying on a bunch of dresses because I feel like it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so spoiled for guys. Which one are you thinking to try on first? Maybe this one. Cute. Yeah. You want to start with this? Yeah. Option one. <laughs> option. Well, not really. My dress is already made, kind of. <laughs> no, it's not. Ooh, it's really nice. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the sleeves of the color. Yeah, I really like that. I love that. I really like the shape. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I knew you want to see it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very boring. Mm. Oh. The money just kind of food for a while. Oh, that's good. We had some really good bread. Which you can't see much of because we finished it all. But yeah, just waiting for the parmesan and then we'll dig in. You stop me. It's a very handy machine. Yeah, it's really good. Yes, yes. Thank you. So guys, really bad. <laughs> Do you want to fix it? Sorry guys, I'm really cranky and I keep picking it out on Omar and he's just butchered out. Not putting up with it at all, actually. There, that's better lighting. Is that better now, yeah? Oh wait, you're not even in the shop. Sick of it? Yeah. Into the thick of it. Okay? All right guys, so we're making breakfast, yeah? So, I don't usually have breakfast, but I'm, I'm going back to like my breakfast thing. Um, I'm because I'm trying out like this whole keto thing. I'm trying out this whole keto thing. I just like, I want to like get back to like how lean I was a few months ago. You know, like kind of pre-wedding. Meanwhile. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and, uh, and then like this climber that I follow, he's like a nutritionist and stuff. He said it worked well for him. So I just want to try it, see how it goes for like a month. So can you explain a bit about what you're doing? So it's just basically no carbs and the plan is to have say like loads of eggs for breakfast and then for dinner just have like a big steak. Does this help you lose weight is the number one question you'll get. Yeah, well for, uh, from what I've seen, yeah, it does. Coupled with like really intense training, right? or do you not need to do it? No, I think even if you don't exercise it probably works. And I've got some clients um, who've been losing a lot of weight. So One client. Two. I have a group chat. Which is you don't my know sister about. and I have his a group brother. Chat that you don't know about. <gasps> what? Some of the clients. Really? Add me. Are you sure? 
Who is it? Because. Right, so it's his brother and my sister. Basically. And they've lost a lot of weight so far. Yeah. Do you actually talk in that group chat? Yeah, we posted this morning. I think everyone should just follow my diet. It's called Eat What You Want. Right. And that's good for you. Mm. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what we've got here, we've got some melted butter here. Yeah? Bismillahi Allahu Akbar Bismillahi Allahu Akbar Are you saying it? I said Bismillah on the first one What, you have to say that when you break it? It's because it's kind of like a mini sacrifice, isn't it? Bismillahi Allahu Akbar Bismillahi Allahu Akbar Bismillahi Allahu Akbar I said you were confused about what I said. No, you told me it was the girl in the green. No, it was this one. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I promise, Oma, you showed me the girl in the green. Oma <laughs> finds it amusing that I eat my egg and toast like a roti. And to be honest, I didn't know there was any other way. But he told me that you put the egg on the toast and then you have it with a knife and fork. But I just think that's so wrong. You can't get into like all the bits you want like that, innit? Update on the frames. We've got a little Nusrat concert from 1989. And we've got a Jug Dye painting, which is already upstairs. Oh no, it's not. No, it's, it's been sent back to the manufacturer. Manufacturer being my brother-in-law. He made some errors while... Uh... Oh, Mal's brother while creating the mount for it. No, in his defense, you didn't give him the correct measurements. Leave him alone. Hello guys, it's actually Sunday now and I didn't end up vlogging much after Barcelona, but I also didn't update you guys on like what we did there <clears throat> because it was just all like go 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 so we were basically there for 24 hours and i had my final dress fitting and oh my god i tried on the dress and i absolutely love it and i tried on a few others as well so that there was something for the vlog this time otherwise i would have just been going for the final fitting and you guys wouldn't have seen much from Jesus Piro. but yeah the dress i tried on i am so in love like the other one as well that was just like you know the team got a few modest dresses out for me because I asked them if I can show you guys some modest options but yeah that one I tried on I instantly fell in love with Maria tried it on as well and it looked so beautiful on her as well it was just so flattering and anyway I kind of regret only getting one because the team actually offered me two so yeah we just tried on the dress I absolutely love it the team absolutely know what they're doing so many people that we've spoken to from the team have been there for like 18 years 25 years and you can tell why it's just such a family feeling like proper homey vibes and I just loved visiting them again but yeah I am just waiting for my mum and sister to arrive now they're joining me and oh and um, I really want to play some board games with them because that's always a good time and yeah I'm just watching Jane the Virgin while I was cooking but I've been watching Inventing Anna and I really like it I'm speaking a bit quietly because Omar's having a nap yeah I might vlog a little bit when mum and Badgie arrive and show you guys all the fun we're having 